After getting all settled in in Tiberius and making sure everything was organized for this group, Janet and I, with our guide and driver, drove to Tel Aviv to pick up our group. They're all coming in on LL Airlines, the safest airlines in the world, run by Israel. Richard, Rachel, and Stacy, love you. We're here, they're safe, we'll take good care of them. All right, here comes our group. Hello, everybody. Hello. You made it! Jesse! You made it, sister! You made it! You made it! Come on out! And more coming out over there. Oh, there's Father Dan. Hello, Father Dan. Good to see you. Good, good to see you. We're going to have a great pilgrimage. Amen. We are. perfectly okay don't worry about anything I know how many of you had family or friends back home that said you're going where are you crazy <laughs> see everybody yes and you know that's the question that I ask everybody because every time 90% of the people raise their hands that their family and friends are terrified so we're gonna make a movie tonight and put it up they'll see that you all came I got a video of you all coming out if somebody wants to say hi back home come up when we get to the hotel and I'll make a quick little video, you can say hello to your family. But uh, it's perfectly safe here. Israel is full of tourists. Hotels are full, buses are full, holy sites are full. Everybody's going about their business perfectly safe and without being afraid. There are places or problems in Israel. I wouldn't take you there. Just like there's problems in Detroit or LA that I wouldn't take you there, right? <laughs> or Chicago. Or yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Or hometown. Your hometown. You know, I, I say to people, they say, aren't you afraid to go to Israel? No, I'm afraid to go to Detroit. <laughs> and the fact is, is that if one person gets killed here, it makes headline on CNN News for a week. Forty people a month get killed in Chicago and you never even hear about it. And people don't hesitate to fly into O'Hare Airport and go to a conference or go to a visit friends and family. It's all in, you don't go certain places. I would never take you to Gaza. I wouldn't take you up to Nablus or to Hebron right now. That would be a free optional. Honor says we'll give you a free optional. <laughs> we, also, we also have a side trip to Damascus, Syria, if anybody would like to go. <laughs> no. At one point, we'll only be 20 minutes drive from Syria, from Damascus when we're up in northern Galilee. Wow. But it's a, it's a world away because Israel is strong. Their borders are strong. Nobody messes with Israel. So when you're here, you're with one of the most powerful militaries in the world. Their number one 
way of making money. You know, what's their number one gross national product? Weapons. Oh. Israel, they're tough. Oh. All along the way to the city of Tiberias from the airport, we have a great time talking with everyone, sharing information and getting used to everyone. And here we are arriving at the Ron Beach Hotel, unloading our luggage, and we come here so much they even put out a great welcoming sign for us every time we come. The Ron Beach Hotel, right on the Sea of Galilee, out in the quiet area outside of the city. We're all here at the Ron Beach finally, after everybody got long plane flights. Wine and beer drinks are included in the meals. Here's our group. There you can see everybody got here safely. Hey, you look better now. You're wide awake. <laughs> Here's everybody finally got here. He was totally cool. Where's the girl before was really Here's Janet handing out everybody their room keys. The food is great here. Looks pretty good. <laughs> All your family and friends know you made it. And this is Claude. He takes good care of us. All the food. So we all made it. We're going to have dinner. And then a little while later, we're going to have mass outside there, which is right out on the Sea of Galilee. Hi, kids. I'm here. It's really fun. Great food. Love you. Bye. Galilee. Great to be here on the Steve Ray Expedition and looking forward to a great time. Amen. Here we go for Mass. <laughs> worship this is not this is not some just a Bible study or a praise and worship session we're not worshiping some statue or something like that this is the worship that our God has given us right and so this is the worship that that brings us right so, so as we celebrate the mass in these days together I just invite you uh, to let it hush your hearts don't worry about being constricted worry about giving your heart over to the Lord uh, and I'm going to talk about that during the homily today okay but let's stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened. <coughs> and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that the summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, but this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we begin tonight this pilgrimage. And I just want to talk maybe for a few minutes about this concept of us going on a pilgrimage to pray together, to be in this time that we can worship, be in this time that we pray. Uh, I'd like to just start with my own testimony with it. Uh, the last time I was here was like 11 months ago. And... Uh, you know, I've, I've been a priest for five years, and I, I absolutely love being a priest. And if I had to... Um
Hi, my name is Jesse Romero. I'm here with Steve Ray, and this is day one. We're in the Sea of Galilee. Can you imagine 2,000 years ago, when God became a man, he walked on this sea. He walked on water. Well, guess what? Just a few minutes ago, Jesus Christ again came to the Sea of Galilee because we had Mass celebrated for us right here by our good Padre. Hello. And, and you know what? What a blessing that Jesus Christ lives again. And he was here right now. Day one, Steve Ray tour with Jesse Romero and Padre. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you, tomorrow. See you later. Mom, I just want to say my love. We made it here. I'm so happy. It's such a holy place. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Hi, babe. Hi, kiddos. I sure love you and miss you all. We just celebrated Mass on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. Absolutely incredible. I love you. God bless you all. After the Mass and people enjoying each other's company, we went back into the hotel. This is a sample of the rooms. Every room has a seaside view with a balcony. Very nice for everybody. Anyway, it was a great day, first day on the pilgrimage. We're going up to the Mount of Transfiguration for Mass tomorrow. See you then.